Hello from the Boynton Beach City Library. I'm Christina. Today I will show you how to make necklace pendants with resin and glitter. These DIY pendants can be the perfect addition to any outfit or make the perfect gift. Supplies include a resin kit that includes the resin, hardener, measuring cups, and stir sticks. Frame pendants tweezers, masking tape, glitter, gloves, and a heat gun. Needle nose pliers and jump rings will be needed to add the finishing touch. Let's get started. The resin and hardener is always mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio. Be sure to read the directions carefully. I will be following the directions for this specific resin. First protect your space. Lay down cardboard or a plastic sheet in case resin is spilled. I have this poster board. To prepare the frame pendants, rip off a piece of masking tape a little bigger and firmly press it to the pendant to prevent any resin from leaking out. The wooden stir stick works great for this and won't damage the frame pendants. Secure the pendants to the workstation with more masking tape to keep it from moving. Use the wooden stir stick again to make sure everything is secure. Add glitter to the pendants, in a pattern or randomly, with just one color or multiple. To mix the resin, use the measuring cups. With your gloves on, pour the resin to the 5mm mark. Be as precise as possible. Then pour the hardener right on top to the 10mm mark. Stir slowly to avoid making bubbles and scrape the sides periodically for two full minutes. Pour the mixture into the second measuring cup, scraping the sides to get everything out. And using a clean stir stick, mix for another minute. Carefully pour or spoon the mixture into the pendants. Be careful not to overflow the frame. Fill it just to the top of the frame to make a flat pendant, or use the stick to add a little bit at a time to get a dome top. The resin will soak through the glitter, and some glitter will float. The pendant will have a sealed finish on the top and bottom. Let the pendant sit for 20 minutes. During this time, the resin will try and work the bubbles out. The heat gun can help this process, and tweezers can be helpful in popping the larger bubbles.
fan the heat gun over the pendants and work the bubbles out. Just don't let the resin mixture get too hot. Once the bubbles are out, leave the pendants to cure for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the pendants should be hard to the touch and ready to be pulled off the masking tape. To clean up any spilled resin, use pliers to pull it off or sandpaper to sand it clean. Use pliers to connect a jump ring to each pendant. And we're done. Thanks for watching.